Hey, what's going on, my friend? Kurt Tashi here, and today I'll be doing my review of HQ Webinar. Now, HQ Webinar is the world's first decentralized peer to peer blockchain webinar platform. Now, what that means is that with HQ Webinar, you're not going to be dependent upon a third party server to do your webinars. You're not going to be dependent upon a third party server like with GoToWebinars or any other popular webinar services out there. You're not going to be piggybacking off YouTube, okay? It's peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning that it's going to go directly from you to your audience member, to your recipient, without any interference or mediation with a third-party server, okay? The benefit of that is that your webinars won't go down because of a server outage, okay? So today, um, in this video, we're going to talk about the product. We're going to do a demo of the software. We're also going to talk about the front of product and the one-time offers that you'll be offered during the, in, in the sales funnel. We're also going to talk about the bonuses I'll be giving you, and then we're going to talk about the pros and cons because I feel that a product review is not complete unless you're going to talk about not just the good but also the bad about the product, okay? Because no product is perfect. So you, in a review, I want to make sure that I'm giving you my thoughts on what I feel is good and what I feel is not so good about a product, okay? So as you can see here, I'm not reviewing. I'm not showing the sales page. Because um, normally I like to show a sales page when I do a review first. Uh, this way, because I like to see how a uh, how a vendor, how a product creator is, you know, how they're depicting their product to the to the potential customer. Okay, you to, to someone who's considering picking up the product. And I'm not doing that today because the sales page is not ready yet. Okay, but I wanted to make sure I get this review out to you as soon as possible because. This is a product that I feel is going to change the game as far as webinars are concerned. So, no sales page review today. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and talk about a little bit about the features of the product. And then we're going to go ahead and do a demo of the software, of the platform. Then after that, we're going to come back and we're going to do, we're going to talk about the front end product on the one-time offers. Then we're going to go over the bonuses. And then we're going to talk about the pros and cons. And then we're going to close out the review, okay? So, the software is, as I said, is it is the, I'm reading off my blog review here, um, it is the world's first peer-to-peer -peer blockchain-based decentralized webinar platform, okay? So you're not going to be dependent upon a third-party server, um, as in other ser other services where if the server goes down, your webinars are going to suffer, the quality is going to suffer, uh, you're not going to be using YouTube or Google Hangouts in there, so you're not going to have that 30-second lag in, in between, because when you're using YouTube Live as an, as an example, using YouTube Live or Google Hangouts in Air, with you are not actually live, okay? You, there's a 30 second delay between the time you broadcast and the time your audience actually receives what you're showing and, and saying. So you're never actually live on those platforms, on that platform. Uh, now, HQ Webinar has a lot of different features with it, but the most powerful, as I said, is the decentralization, okay? no need for a third-party server. As long as at least two nodes or two computers are on the network, okay, your webinars will never go down, okay? It's the same technology that's used in crypto blockchain, Bitcoin, the same, same technology, okay, decentralized. Um, some of the features, and I got a list right here, I'm going to be reading them off. Uh, some of the features of HQ Webinar, you, get, you can have multiple coordinators, so you're not limited to just one or two. You can have up to 15 co co coordinators. Excuse me, up to 15 coordinators at each webinar. Uh, you can add multimedia to your webinars. Uh, you can set up remind. You can do reminding. You can set up reminders to your attendees. Excuse me. Um, there's no delay. Um, as no lag time as you need to have with with YouTube Live and Google Hangouts and Air. Uh, it's gonna. It's in true true HD, true high definition. Smooth screen sharing, you can share a full screen or even just parts of a screen, however you want to do it. Uh, there's an instant, instant chat option. There's a waiting lounge for your audience, which is pretty cool. So what if, let's say your all your uh, webinar is going to start at 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Eastern, and people start gathering before the webinar. There's a little waiting room where you can actually um, have where they can sit there and wait, but they can also uh, go through different information that you might have for them uh, before the webinar. You know, it kind of helps you. One thing you do with that is kind of pre-sell the material and the content that you're going to have on the webinar. That's a pretty cool feature right there. Uh, you can have recorded events. Uh, you can do have replays as well. Um, you get detailed stats. They use as a revolutionary serverless BDN, okay, which means no third-party server needed for this. 
uh, and it seamlessly integrates with a lot of third-party, popular third-party services. Uh, services like uh, like PayPal, Mailchimp, GetResponse, Active Campaign, Eye Contact, Infusionsoft, Sendlane, Aweber, Constant Contact, Benchmark, One Shopping Cart, and Zapier, or Zapier. I'm, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And I believe they're going to be integrating with more in the future. So, again, peer to peer goes from you to your audience member. No, no, no interruptions or any mediaries between the two of you. No third party server to deal with. No lives from YouTube and like that. So it's completely different. I think it's going to flip the whole webinar uh, industry around. Okay. Um, now the front of product and the OTA. Actually, we'll get ahead in a second. Let's go ahead and do a demo of the software. Okay. And then after that, we're going to talk about the front of product and the one time offers. Then we'll get into the bonuses and the pros and cons. And then we're going to close it out. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that demo. I'll be back in just a second. Hello, friends. Welcome to HQ webinar demo session. In this demo session, I'm going to show you how to create, share, and host your we webinars. And further, how can you monetize your webinars on this platform? So we start with the login screen. Uh, here, I'll, I'll put in my credentials. For you, it'll be your credentials. So we put in our email ID, password, and login, and land on this page. So on this page, you'll see right on top, there is this menu. We'll talk about uh, the menu items a little later in our uh, session. So you, you can see my events, app integration, contacts, recordings, settings, logout. You can hide this uh, menu if you want to. And if you come down, you'll see these three tabs. Uh, this is for the upcoming webinars. Any webinar that you have scheduled in the future will show up here. Right now, we don't have none. So we'll create a new webinar, which we'll show here. Then you can see the next tab, which is the past webinars, which have already ended. You know, you can convert these past webinars into replays if you want to, using this button. You know, so all, all the webinars that you have converted into replays will, will show up in the next tab. You have this button right here. You can see create webinar replay. Uh, so now let's, let's go to upcoming webinars. Since we have none, we'll create new one. So put in a webinar title. We'll, we'll put demo video for now. Webinar time zone, since I'm in India right now, by default the time zone shows correct. Uh, you know, you, you can, you, whichever geographical location you are in, you can select your uh, time zone accordingly. Then uh, you, you can put a logo for your webinar, kind of an identification. So you, you can upload a picture if you want to. Uh, we recommend you put in tags for your webinar. So it's, it indexes, it's easier for you to uh, you know, look for past webinars later. And then you can schedule, you can select a time, you see it's a pretty intuitive design. So uh, you know, right now we'll select say uh, 3 p.m. So this is, uh, since we did not select a logo, this is by default, you, you will have an option of changing it uh, later. Uh, so. You, you can see the title of the webinar, the time, uh, you can, you know, uh, mouse over the time and see the time converted into your time zone. So here, here are the webinar details. Uh, in the previous screen, we had put in the uh, uh, webinar name. You might want to put in description. You can select a picture here again. Let, let's select one, uh, you'll see. So you will be able to edit it here. If you want to crop it, you can. We'll select the whole logo here for now. So here we go. It's uploaded now. Uh, you see the change. The logo has, has changed now. Now, uh, during the webinar, if you want to cre keep your uh, chat private, you know, by default, you can leave it here. If you want to make it public, you know, you can, you can uh, switch this to public. The next uh, switch is 
to redirect your uh, attendees after the webinar if you want to redirect them to a custom uh, url you can you can select yes here and put in the customer you custom url or else uh, leave it at no now uh, if this is a free webinar by default uh, it's a free webinar if you want to make it paid uh, you you switch it to paid and you know uh, put in the amount so this comes with a caveat uh, this is with the assumption that you have already connected uh, uh, your uh, payment gateway uh, you know which you'll see in app integration so here we have already connected our paypal you have mailchimp get response different kind of applications that you can uh, integrate here uh, you can see the whole list here now this is the registration page you know you see the url here we'll, we'll go to the registration page and uh, see how does it look like right now uh, you know so it's, it's showing the time uh, left for the webinar uh, you know uh, you can connect it uh, you can add it to your calendar multiple types of uh, calendars that you can add it to further uh, to join in uh, right now registration form we have only two fields the name and email if you want you can modify this page here on the yeah on the registration stack so if, say if you if you want the phone number two okay uh, you can select the type of field whether it's optional or not uh, we'll refresh the URL and you'll see the field being added that's all on the go live you know on the fly we delete it come back refresh the page you know the field is gone magic so app integration uh, uh, you know you can you can connect uh, you can integrate multiple applications here right now we'll will integrate mailchimp for example you select mailchimp you select the list that you have already created of folks and uh, save it mailchimp has been integrated now thank you page if you, if you have a custom thank you page where you want uh, your uh, participants to be redirected uh, after they register you, you you can you can put a url here publish template for the webinar you you we, we give you an editor where where you can uh, you know create your template and and publish it so we'll we'll show it uh, later during our session here so now let's go back to uh, webinar coordinators okay so this is a section where you add coordinators for your webinar you add their email ID and name. As soon as you add the coordinator, uh, an invite goes to the coordinator. So right now we added uh, Shubham. Uh, you know the status is showing pending right now since uh, Shubham hasn't accepted it. Once he accepts our invitation, this will change to active. Let's look at the email funnel now. This email funnel basically, uh, you know. Uh, if you want to send uh, notifications at different intervals to your participants, this is the section where you come in and set it up. Uh, you know, this, this first template that we are looking at goes 24 hours before uh, your session starts. This is for one hour, 15 minutes, all, all similar kind of uh, templates. So you will have to enable uh, the email funnel function uh, right on the top and then for each individual email you can go and make them active or uh, you know switch them on or off accordingly based on your requirement so we will disable it for now we go to the registrants page registration page resources so any webinar resource that you want to add you will add it here let let's look and look at an example you come select a file and say save the presentation material get saved you can see all the resources listed down here we uh, come to tracking now as uh, most of you would know i mean we can use the pixel co pixel codes here to track our uh, participants so registration thank you page webinar we we can put the pixel code at these three locations so we come to the branding section this section you will use to brand your webinar so you can see uh, the default logo here uh, 
we'll, we'll select something right now. We give you the option of cropping it. Once cropped, it gets uploaded. Uh, you can change the colors. There are a lot of other features that, that you will see once you start playing with the, with the application. So uh, pages, uh, registration, you want to enable it. Confirmation, reminder, emails, you can enable. Webinar room, you can enable all these uh, designs to go in there. Now, uh, so this is our uh, demo page. See, we change the color, we change the logo, and uh, you know the whole branding changes on the registration page. Now we go to the registrants. Since we don't have a registrant, we just created this uh, webinar. We don't have a registrant, so we don't see none there. But we'll we'll add uh, we'll register with my friend's name and his email ID so that I can show you how the registrants will show up on that tab. So we have one re one registered uh, user now. We'll go back and see the registrants. We'll refresh. Ding dong is right here. The status is showing pending for now. Since uh, so, so uh, since the registrant hasn't opened the custom URL that was created for the user, that's why the status here is showing pending. Once the URL is okay, here we go. So uh, we are at the post uh, screen right now. Uh, as you can see the button right in the center you can check your video microphone whatever you want to check i come here live hello how are you all right so uh on this screen you see uh, so this is the registration page uh, that an attendee will come and uh, register themselves so we'll use some credentials right now to register the registration is done now we get our uh, custom URL. We can use this custom URL to get into the uh, webinar. All right, hi. We are back to the presenter screen now. Uh, you can see right on the top, uh, bottom if you see, you can see the time running. Uh, there is one presenter and one viewer right now. We can have live, live chat. So since we uh, selected, it's a private conversation. Okay, yeah, you see the message coming here. It's all on the fly. You come back, the message is going back and forth. So it's a live chat going on right now. It's a private chat between the presenter and uh, the attendee. All right, so uh, now we are live on air. If you see on the bottom, someone was barking. So live on air. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see the chat window. As a host, I'm, I'm chatting back and forth with one of the attendees. You see the messages going back and forth on the fly. So on the presenter screen you will see this button right on the top for uh, sharing your screen. You can uh, share an application window if you want to or you can share the whole screen. So right now we are we are sharing uh, an app application window which is our web browser right now. All, all our attendees uh, the attendees here you can see the attendee can see the screen. Uh, you have you can uh, you will have multiple screens if there are multiple presenters uh, co-hosts so an attendee will see all the screens you might see multiple screens right at the bottom you can select any of the screens to make it the primary uh, screen and you have individual controls for each screen you can you can switch on switch off the uh, speaker now so on the presenter screen, you can see all these controls uh, on the menu right at the top. Uh, so this control is to turn off your camera in between. You can switch off your microphone, make it full screen, 
uh, these chat windows you if, if as a presenter you want to make any note you can you can do it here you want to have any individual uh, uh, chat with, with with an individual uh, uh, attendee you can you can do it from here all right so now we'll end the webinar and we go back to uh, the thank you page where uh, the attendee can rate rate the webinar right there as soon as the rating is done the presenter will see it on their screen here since we ended our uh, webinar the video is getting uploaded there it's all done i will show up in the past webinars you can see right here with one attendee and one registrant uh, the attendee gave us five stars you we can go and see the details of the attendees in there. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, so hopefully that demo kind of cleared things up for you and so you understand exactly how the software works, the platform works, and why it's so why, why it's such a game changer uh, in the webinar industry. So now we're going to talk about the front of product and the OTOs. Um, I don't have all the full details of the one-time offers yet. Uh, but you'll get full details on these as you're going through the sales process, okay? So the front of product, of course, is going to be the basic version of HQ webinar, and that's going to start at 47 It's going to go up to as high as $97, all right, uh, during the launch phase. So the first OTO is going to be the Phoenix level of HQ webinar. That's going to start at 47 and go to $97. You'll get full details on that during the sales pro when you're going through the funnel. Um, the second OTO is the HQ webinar event Avengers level. Which is the which is going to be two forty seven to four ninety seven. Again, these prices are going to change after the launch and during the launch. And then the third OTO is the HQ webinar Phantom, which is going to start at forty seven and and go as high as ninety seven. Again, full details on these OTOs are going to be available uh, once the product is is launched. Okay. Now, now I want to talk to you about some of the bonuses I'll be giving you uh, when you pick up your copy and when you when you pick up your copy of it's grabbing our through my link. Uh, now, what I like to do is I like to offer bonuses that are going to kind of go hand in hand with a product. I don't really care to, I mean, sometimes I'll add random bonuses just because I want to add some more value, but I like to add bonuses that will kind of help you utilize whatever you're, pick, whatever you're purchasing. And what I've done is I've added a, a lot of bonuses that have to do with webinars and running webinars and making money with webinars. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of scroll through these real quick here. Um, the products that you see here, and you can actually click the. There's a, I'll, leave, I'll leave a link in my uh, in my blog review uh, where you can actually click on, then go directly to this bonus page. But the products you're going to see here are going to come with either reseller rights, master reseller rights, or private label rights. So you can actually make money with these bonuses, okay? So, and with that, you can actually help you know kind of. Um, recoup your costs of picking up HQ webinar. Um, so we have different different courses and ebooks and video courses, things like that that are going to help you um, understanding and running webinars, you know, how to make money with webinars, so how to run webinars properly, how to get the how to get the best use out of webinars. And again I'll have a link to these in my blog review and you can access and you can go and click that and get all the information on these bonuses there. And okay. now the pros and cons of the platform. Now, as I said, it wouldn't be fair just to say how good something is. You need to say, you need to, if you're going to do reviews of products, you need to tell your audience exactly what's good and what's not so good. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything really bad about HQ webinar because I don't think there is. I, th I think it's perfect the way it is. There is just one con. The pro, the biggest pro I see is the fact that it's a decentralized platform, so you're not dependent upon a third-party server. Your webinars will never go down. Um, you'll never have any issues, no lags, anything like that. And it's going to, as I said, it's going to change the game. It's going to flip the whole webinar industry upside down. The only con that I see, okay, in my opinion, is that if you're, if you're used to using YouTube, okay, you benefit from YouTube's SEO, okay, from the... Uh, because Google owns YouTube and Google puts priority, gives YouTube videos priority. If you're not broadcasting over YouTube Live and you're not hosting your um, 
replays on YouTube, you're not going to benefit from the SEO that Google's going to give you, from all the extra juice that you're going to get because YouTube is owned by, owned by Google. Okay, But that's a small price to pay for webinars that are that are absolutely clear and have no problems. Okay, So the biggest pro, decentralized. Okay? No third-party servers to deal with, no lags to deal with. The only con is that you're not going to benefit from the natural SEO that you get by using YouTube. Now, that, of course, has nothing to do with if you're using GoToWebinars because those are hosted on their own servers. Okay, uh, This is talking just about YouTube servers and the SEO you're going to get from YouTube videos. Okay, But again, the major benefit is the fact that it's decentralized and you don't have to worry about anything, any lags, any uh, drop in quality, you know, your webinar is going down, you know, a server outage, okay, no problems at all with those things. Okay. You're going to have a seamless, perfect webinar experience every single time you run it, okay. So, with that, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this review. Um, when you're ready, go ahead and click that button down below. Um, if you're on my review page, I'll have a few of a buy now button down below as well as a link down below. You can go ahead and grab your copy of the XQ webinar right now. Uh, the HQ webinar is going to be doing a pre they're going to pre launch on the 25th of June 2018 at 11 a.m. Eastern. Okay, and the full launch is going to happen on the 30th of June at 11 a.m. Okay, product is going to the launch is going to last until July 6th and once the launch is over, okay, the prices are going to go up. Okay, as you saw, there's a price range uh, from 47 to 97 for the front end product, and each OTL has its own price range. Uh, the prices are going to go up, and also the bonuses will be taken away after the launch. Okay, so I'll have the bonuses available during the pre-launch and the right and the full launch, but once the launch ends, the bonuses are going to be gone. Okay, so if you want to get the best price and get the bonuses, uh, you want to make sure you grab your copy. You know, grab yours as soon as possible. Okay, so thank you guys, thank you very much for watching, and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye.